Hi all and welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're going to continue on with our Queensland local fish shop crawl. And today, we're going to visit Fur and Fins in Burp and Gary. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Now, the first thing you might ask is where in hell is uh, Burp and Gary? I can tell you it's about an hour north of Brisbane. Uh, it's a pretty smooth drive, so it um, is easy to get to, and uh, here we are at the store. Now, I must admit, it doesn't always have these marquees out the front. Just a uh, quick spoiler alert, that is because we were setting up for my show, uh, Fragstock Queensland. Um, so I did this video while the guys were setting up there. But let's head into the store. Now, one of the first things, obviously, you'll get from the, uh, the title is it's called Fur and Fins. So this is not just a dedicated aquarium store. They've got other pet food as well. Um, other supplies and things like that. So it's going to be a really good uh, store if you need to take your family along with you or if you need to, an excuse to pick up uh, cat food or dog food or um, some bowls or something like that whilst you have a little sneaky peek at some of the fish and corals on hand. So I'm kind of scrolling through the um, pet supplies pretty quick there because this is not really what my channel is about. But I will give you a quick little look at the um, snakes they got here, mainly because I hate snakes. And um, the the um, staff there, Nick and Ashton, told me way too many stories about um, the snakes they've had over the years. And uh, it totally wigged me out. So um, this is about as close as I ever get to snakes. And uh, I couldn't even tell you what kind of uh, species they are. That one's spotted, which uh, scares the hell out of me. So let's move on. All right, so we come out the back here, and this is where the uh, exciting stuff happens. This is where their coral and fish is. So just bear with me while I put the lens on the um, camera, and then we can uh, get a proper look at these um, these corals here. All right, if you've ever seen a euphilia tank in your life, this is not a bad place to start. We've got almost every color of the rainbow here in hammers, um, different sizes, different shades, different models. We've got um, not just hammers, we've got torches, we've got bubble corals. Um, and some crazy prices too. Those 24 karat gold hammers there are $65 Australian a head. So for our American viewers, we're talking, I don't know, probably around about 40 US dollars per head um, of some of the brightest gold torches you've ever seen. Quick shout out there to uh, Two Gay Reefers, um, a couple of guys there that do a fantastic YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to do so. And uh, it's not just euphilia in this tank. Have a look at the size of that clam. I can say this clam did sell that night, and I went to a good friend of mine in Queensland, Jack Pels, so um, hopefully you'll give that a good home. And uh, we'll just scroll along the bottom of this tank. You can see there's a nice zoa rock there, a favia, there's some frog spawns, these beautiful bubbles here. Now, I'm hoping this bubble coral in the middle there, that uh, yellow mottled one, didn't get sold on the night because I put a request in for that one. I'm going to get that shipped down because I know the guys at Fur and Fins do incredible shipping. They pack their uh, corals and fish with care and they send airport to airport. So I'm going to follow up after this video and uh, check with Nick and Ashton and see if that, um, see if that uh, bubble's there because I've got a spot right in my tank where I want to see it go. But uh, one last quick look at all these um, euphilia in here because, uh, uh, to be honest, I can't get over the pricing. Um, there's some healthy corals. They're great-looking corals, great selection, but uh, fur and fins sure know how to price their corals. And maybe it's because I'm so far down south from the reef that... Um, Prices are cheaper up here, I don't know, but uh, it just seems to be good value to me. All right, we're going to move on to our Gonoporia tank. And uh, yeah, you saw that right, that huge gunny down there is $30 Australian. Um, we've got a few other options along here. Most of the bottom row there is $30, $35. There's one there that's $55. We've got a uh, little sea of trachophilias there. Uh, we've got a morph rock up the top there um, with some nice blue lumpy morphs. Uh, we've got a few different Duncans there by the looks, um, with those bright green stems. Uh, looks like some Orgonies or Elevoporas. I can never pronounce that word, so I apologize. Got some cracking red Gonies back there. Um, some really, really bright red ones, and then some less red ones if you're uh, on a bit more of a budget. We've got uh, almost the world's largest elegance coral there by the looks. And uh, just a little quick peek up the top here. Once I get the camera to pan down, up here in the top right-hand corner is Nick's little stash rack. Now, a little birdie's told me this is some of the stock that he's preparing to bring to uh, reef stock in Sydney in August this year. And you can see why, because those gonies and pieces there are absolutely glowing. If we skip across this way, there's a few recordias, um, some rhodactus, and some other fancy bits and pieces there that are conveniently hidden by the young water flow. But we pop across to this tank here, you can see some nice little variety of zoas there. I'm not a huge Zoa guy, so I couldn't tell you the names, but I can tell you the ones I haven't seen before. 
Um, it, whether they suit your eye or not, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, they're a little bit special looking to me. We've got some other uh, basic uh, frog spawns um, and some other uh, zoas and pallies in there. Uh, a little bit of a grow out tank here. Got some uh, leathers there, huge variety of leathers actually now we pan across. But uh, let's speed things up a little bit and give you a quick sneak peek at the uh, filtration on their fish system here. Really cool little setup and um, I appreciate uh, the team letting me just uh, walk my way around the store here like I own the place because I can guarantee you I do not own the place. <laughs> I was just made welcome. So um, I'm sure uh, the, the team here make everyone feel welcome at store, but uh, they let me uh, roam around um, like no tomorrow. Let's have a quick look at the fish here because um, as you can see here, we're going to start off with an Achilles, a big, beautiful, healthy looking Achilles. Um, we've got a nice angel back there. Um, some incredible wrasse. That's just the first tank. The fish just get better and better. Um, we've got some nice tangs there. Looks like a, uh, a nice clown. We've got a yellow tang. We've got a uh, blue face angel. Uh, what's the tang there in the front? Is he a uh, lavender tang, perhaps? Uh, looks like we've got a, a wrasse up the back there. Uh, we can also see a little mandarin as I get the camera to focus. Pan across the next tank. And yeah, have a look at this guy. What a beautiful soho. Oh man, after seeing all these so holes in tanks in Queensland, I'm really seriously contemplating getting one because they are the definition of boss. Uh, they are a big, bad tang and they just own it. Um, there's some other incredible wrasse in there. Um, what do we got here? He's a beautiful angel. Um, by the mouth on him, you can tell he's going to eat anything and everything. But uh, we've also got a stunning red uh, flame angel in there. A really nice Scopaz tang, and I must admit, you don't see a lot of Scopaz tangs around at the moment. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I know that they pop up here and there, but they're just not as common um, as other tangs, and they're, they're a beautiful, beautiful fish. Uh, looks like we've got a uh, purple tang, another uh, flame angel. Got to pop down here into a little bit of a uh, predator tank. There's a, a cool trigger. Is he possibly a titan trigger? Uh, could be wrong on that. We've also got a uh, beautiful moray eel. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, fire gobies in there. And uh, check out this dude. What a beast. He looks like, uh, I think he's a hawk. Um, yeah, it could be a archive hawk, perhaps. You can see a nice nasso tang in the background there. Got a nice cute uh, sail fin. Beautiful uh, angel in there. Uh, Vanuatu fairy rest too in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got some more gobies here. Uh, there is a archai in there somewhere. Check out the big, um, oh, I've lost for words what the name of the fish is, but uh, the big, the red eye, uh, the red guy with the big uh, squirrel fish, that's him. As I see the name just in time, squirrel fish are cool as. All right, that's only one of the fish tank bays. Let's see what the guys have got over here. We've got another cute little uh, trigger there. I think he may be a Picasso trigger. Uh, looks like we've got a Mimic Lemon Pea. Uh, yeah, Mimic Angel, yep. We've got a, another Sail Fin. A couple of other fish hiding under the rocks there. We've got, uh, whoa, lots going on here. We've got uh, a couple of long-nosed butterflies, a copper band. We've got a uh, yellow tang. See a blonde Naso in the background there. A much, much bigger Sail Fin. Uh, I've also got one of those reef safe uh, angels in there. The name has slipped me. Come up here into this tank here. We've got some uh, dotty backs in there. There's another purple tang. Oh man, look at these. Uh, we've got a magnificent fox face, a Fiji fox face, a nice Aussie harlequin tusk. One of my favorites at the moment is the um, blue jaw trigger. Um, such a uh, fish with incredible character. Um, but those two fox face in there together, the Fiji and the magnificent just, um, stunning pair. What else can we find here? Uh, let's have a look. We've got a whole new array of uh, rack of fish um, systems going to be added on there real soon. But uh, if you think things have ended there, the funny thing that makes me laugh is Nick always tells me, whenever I talk to him, he says, I've only got a small store and yet it takes me ages to walk around and look at the livestock in here. So um, personally, I don't think it is small. I actually think it's a pretty nicely sized shop, but what they do with the space is um, incredible. And um, We've got a, uh, there's probably about 400 pieces of coral in the central tank, so we're going to do our best to um, scroll across them and have a look now. All right, we've got, uh, uh, what are they called? Favias, perhaps there's some lobos there. Um, really nice one on the front there. Look at the colors on that, the red, the green, um, the purple. Nice uh, orange there. In fact, a huge selection of lobos. Uh, many different colors, sizes. And um, we've got some beautiful red cynarias there. We've got a good assortment of deshies uh, moving across here. Have a look at these acans. Holy moly. 
I can see why um, first time reefer David Mai got a um, shipment of acans down because have a look at this rock up here, this magnetic rock. Holy cow, that's acan heaven right there. Um, I'm not a huge acan fan, mainly because my angel likes to eat them. Um, but uh, wow, if you are an acan fan, get onto that. One thing I am a fan of is scollies. And if you have a look at that unbelievable rainbow crocodile island scolly there in the middle, I was ready to part with all the money I made in two weeks on that piece there, but it was sold um, right before me. I, I saw it there in this video and I thought, I'm coming back with all the folding that's required to get that and um, some lucky other bugger bought it. So uh, whoever in Queensland picked that up, congrats to you because that's an incredible piece. Just panning over these uh, deshis here and a couple more scenarios. Um, we'll pop around the corner. Look at that blue tang. They're such strange fish. Um, if finding Dory or finding Nemo was um, any indication of what uh, those animals are like in real life, I think they nailed it. Now, ignoring my um, sold rainbow crocodile island scully, have a look at some of the other pieces there. Absolute ultra export grade. Um, just casually sitting in the tank there. No big deal. <laughs> These are the sort of things that other stores would hang their hats on as showpieces. Now, moving on to some other corals that absolutely take my fancy. Have a look at the range of chalice there. Um, we've got yellow gold eyes, we've got green eyes, we've got uh, purples, we've got reds. Just a few more lazy acans if you're looking for something to um, be like a whole showpiece of your tank. Unbelievable. Guys, have got a good assortment of SBS in here too. Um, some pretty large colonies there, and I know they do fragging in store, so they're cutting up frags of those as well. Check out this chalice here, the green one. It looks like it's got a big yellow eye, but it, when in actual fact, it looks like it's got a gold chalice in the center of that green chalice. So that's um, just one of nature's, uh, <laughs> nature's oddities. I can see a big uh, few bits of blaster over there, some Montipora, some huge Montipora pieces. You can get a better look at the um, chalice through the side there, just highlighting the uh, range again. Check out these um, crazy, crazy acan rocks. Got a couple of nice uh, candy cane frags there. One of those came home with me. And uh, we move across into uh, the fragging section just on our left here. We can see where the team have grown out a bunch of frags. We've got some um, Samacora, some Leptosaurus, some Chalice, some Montipora. Um, I can see some uh, other pieces there, some SBS. All right, I'm going to just pop the filter off and let's have a look at some of the other stuff here. So we've got... Um, being the, the pet store that it is, we've got a whole range of other items too. So we've got the full range of uh, freshwater and marine uh, additives, fish foods um, from a range of brands. So you can see obviously API, we've got the Ocean Nutrition. Um, I'm going to try and capture as much as I can in, um, in camera, but uh, it can be difficult because my camera's got a little bit of a zoom on it. So it makes it look like I'm standing almost on the shelf. Being a good Queensland store, every Queensland store's got the full Red Sea range, and why not? It's a, um, it's a great range of products, and uh, the, the distributor's in Queensland, so it makes sense. Um, and yeah, Fur and Fins is no different. They've got the full range of Red Sea products there, which is um, always handy because once you've got a bit of brand loyalty, you're going to want to stick with that brand. To go along with Red Sea, of course, we don't miss out on their salt. They've got the full range of uh, the new uh, environmentally friendly um, bucket-free bags of salt. And of course, they got the uh, Red Sea Reefer, the brand new skimmers, the 900, the 600, and I think there's a 300 as well. Let's pan across and see. You bet there is, and uh, Ferret and Fins have got the full range. All right, I'm just going to pop around the corner here because I think someone is blocking the aisle for me. We can see just uh, another quick look at the Ocean Nutrition range there. And uh, a little dedicated shelf on the store here to my good friend Thomas Cheer from Anything Acrylic who makes these custom frag racks, um, any color, any shape. If you've got a requirement for something, I also did a video on um, the uh, little uh, Coral Essentials caddy that Thomas made for me. Uh, does incredible stuff. Right next to uh, Thomas's gear on the shelf here, we've got a little section of uh, eShops products and uh, some terrarium information or pieces there, which um, I must admit does get my interest. Whilst I'm not really into snakes, a little lizard or a frog enclosure does uh, tickle my fancy. Got the full range of Titan heaters there, um, which is good because they're the ones that are shatterproof. A little quick look at uh, Thomas's gear again. You can see some uh, Red Sea T5 tubes. Whoa, there's the snakes. We're not going there. And uh, we're just going to pop around here past some of the uh, pet toys. And uh, we're going to check out the incredible Red Sea display tank. Um, Ashton's wearing her incredible uh, Zoa designer leggings today. But uh, right up behind the counter here, we've got some uh, refroids. We've got some uh, additives. So we've got some magazines down the bottom there, yellow marine coral glue, ME coral glue, we've got the full coral essentials range, and the uh, yellow marine sticky stuff gun, 
Um, up behind the counter there, you can see the um, AI Hydras, the Claris C uh, filter rollers, the uh, Blue Life uh, resins, the brand new Red, uh, Red Sea Reef LED, which I'll show you on the display tank in a second. Another one of Thomas's incredible uh, frag racks. And uh, I think we've got some, uh, some flea and worm products for our cats and dogs behind there. It's going to pop the filter on and we'll check out this display tank because um, it's got some incredible pieces in here. And I apologize if I can't quite pick up the uh, colors. I haven't quite dialed the filter into the brand new Red Sea uh, Reef LED 90. You're just going to have to take my word that this um, tank is something else in person. It looks incredible. You see a huge Montipora growing off the side there, including um, some beautiful, uh, uh, we've got a, a Mystic there and also, uh, it's not Gold Rush, but uh, one of the beautiful... Um, uh, gold with blue polyp Montes there. You see some nice SPS growing off the top, a couple of beautiful Helios on the sand, a couple of absolute uh, humongous um, hammers there, an elegance that looks like if I dipped my head in the tank, it would eat it. Um, we've got some uh, beautiful Monty cap frags in there um, growing on the side, some reds and greens and some hybrid reds and greens that uh, Nick's playing with. Um, of course, on the Thomas Cheer uh, frag racks. And if you see the sticker here, it says to look up the Red Sea Reef LED is in use, and it is. Um, the team just mounted that this week. Um, we've got a few of them over the tank here, and it's, um, yeah, they bring out the colors unbelievable. And when I get the camera to focus, check out these, uh, the glitter goni, the red goni next to it. And uh, you have to put a basic goni down there as well. Oh, sorry, no, it's a hammer down there, just so you can um, not take too much for granted how incredible those other uh, gonies are. Got a whole assortment of SBS stuck on this side. There's a little tracky just hiding down in the corner. It looks like he's in recovery mode and uh, he's not far off recovering. And when he does, wow, that's going to be an absolute showstopper. All right, guys. Well, we're pretty well at the end of this video. I really appreciate uh, you following along on the tour and um, be sure to support the stores that support you. Um, they definitely support me and uh, I, I definitely want to get behind them. And um, I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the tour so far. I've got a few more stores to do in Queensland. I didn't quite get to them all, but um, I got to a few. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, be sure to post it down below and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.